Indeed, uh, President Zelensky <laughs> has, uh, with his application, set a process in motion. And um, I just wanted to remind that from the day of the application to today, um, it was just uh, a very short time that the Council tasked the Commission to form an opinion uh, on this application. Normally, this takes years. So it shows that there is a completely different process going on. The process itself is important. As the President said, there, is, there are conditions to be part of the European Union that have to be met. But we are also aware of the fact that having a free and democratic Ukraine after the war will also mean that a lot of rebuilding the country will be done with strong support from the European Union too. So I want to emphasize that um, there is an enormous speed in the process over the last days really to show that Ukraine is indeed part of our European family. On your second question on um, the two-third reduction, uh, potential reduction of Russian gas uh, um, within a year. Indeed, this is doable. Um, it's not a ban. It is a re reduction by going on one hand in the diversification of the supply, so making sure that we have a lot more LNG coming to the European Union. And there it pays off that over the last weeks we've been working hard and have been calling all our friends around the world, and we have many friends around the world, that we need higher supplies of LNG gas. Thanks God we've done our homework and we have the LNG terminals. There have been investments, massive investments in the pipeline network throughout the European Union. So with the LNG terminals and an increased LNG supply, we're able uh, to replace quite a part um, of the Russian gas. An example is the January. We never had so many LNG vessels and so high amounts of LNG uh, supply to the European Union as in the month of January because we just actively asked the other suppliers in the world. Then, of course, it needs to be accompanied by heavy investment in renewables, but also biomethane, for example, or increase in hydrogen. This will rise over the years. This is the beginning only. It's one of the most interesting projects to invest in the hydrogen, because whatever we do now with the LNG gas and the pipelines can one day be used as infrastructure for hydrogen. So it's a perfect transition into the hydrogen that will be one of the energy sources of the fu uh, future. And then, of course, um, you can see in the communication that um, the Commission put on the table this Tuesday, a detailed table with the different sectors where we can also reduce the energy, energy consumption, thus uh, reduce our dependency on Russian gas. Last but not least, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard, and um, as I've already said, uh, it needs the support by everybody. Everyone can do something, for example, by reducing the energy consumption we have overall. The individual contribution by 450 million Europeans makes a big chunk, if you look at that. And the combination of diversification, more renewables, and smart use of energy uh, would make it possible.